News at 3. Now at 3 o'clock, a tornado touched down in DeSoto County yesterday evening, and it looked pretty impressive. It caused quite a bit of damage despite being in a not very populated area. So the question Wink News asked today, why did the National Weather Service not issue a tornado warning? Thanks for joining us for Wink News at 3 o'clock. I'm Emma Heaton, live in DeSoto County, near where that tornado touched down. There were no warning signs here, no sirens. We'll get to more on that in just a couple of minutes. But first, we want to get out to Hendry County, where we're ho hosting our fourth Wink Weather Watchers event. Matt Devitt is there. Matt, we've already seen a pretty busy radar today. How's it looking out there? Yeah, and it looks like, uh, Emma, you're already starting to see some of that as we can't stress enough how helpful our wink weather watchers are when it comes to not only showing what weather is unfolding but also reporting it and that was very valuable yesterday with that DeSoto County Twister. So let's take a look at what we have right now on Wink Live Doppler 3X and you'll notice that we have no shortage of showers and thunderstorms, a lot of pockets of heavy rain and lightning. In fact, let's throw on the lightning detector and some of the latest scans. Yeah, uh, two to 400 lightning strikes just within the past 15 minutes. So let's take a tour here and we'll show you some of the harder hit areas with pockets of heavy rain, cloud to ground lightning, all these storms are being analyzed for the possibility of some of that brief and weak rotation. Now let's take you a little bit more to the north and you can see these individual cells across areas of Collier County, both near US 41 and extending towards Amakli as well as Ave Maria, also tracking some storms closer to Lake Okeechobee. And I'm here live in LaBelle and we are still seeing some of those showers and storms within the vicinity. We had some rain earlier and then for our final stop, DeSoto County, it's been a bit of a rough 24 hours. Thankfully, the storms right now are nothing too terribly strong or severe. But coming up, we will highlight what we have going on tonight in LaBelle with our Wink Weather Watcher program and also take a look on Doppler. Guys, back to you. All right, Matt, thank you very much. Again, that's at 530. We want to get back to yesterday's video of that tornado. Let's pull up some video of that storm yesterday. Again, this happened a little bit before six o'clock in the evening Monday. You see just how strong and impressive this storm was sending debris flying down the street in this video sent to us by a Wink News viewer. Videos like this sent to us by our viewers and weather watchers helped our weather team identify the area of the storm and classify it as a tornado even before the National Weather Service did. Matt spoke with NWS throughout the night about the area, saying he believed this was a tornado. Eventually this morning, they did indeed say a tornado touched down in DeSoto County. But many questions remain as to what took so long and why did they not send out the warning in the first place? Again, no sirens, no heads up. And on the ground here, we have seen some of that damage for ourselves. As we walk over here, you can see this trampoline here on top of this fence. This is at a home. You can also see parts of a playground that are ripped up in the backyard there. Plenty of trees torn up as well. Wink News reporter Camila Pereira took a look at some of that damage for herself. Let's go to her live now, also in DeSoto County. Camila, what are you seeing? Yeah, well, Emma, that trampoline is really kind of the biggest amount of damage we've had been seeing. You could see it right there is another angle of that. Aside from that, I mean, you could see just along the grass where we are parked, just some branches, uh, some pieces of the trees. What I heard from emergency crews on scene today when they were going through is that luckily most of the damage seemed to be some tossed trash cans, some branches, and unfortunately one home did experience some damage to the back. But I want to show you that video that I got from this neighbor right here next to me. You can see what that looked like up in the sky in the middle of it she witnessed it right there you can see that cyclone kind of like a rotation forming there what could have been that tornado that was forming and then you see that street just all those things being tossed those high winds that is what neighbors saw and actually that is what one of our DeSoto County Wink Weather watchers saw and was driving through right along this street here southwest Beard Street so take a listen to what she experienced while driving through it personally didn't see a tornado because there was just so much rain um i couldn't see it um but when i saw the aftermath of what happened i said oh my goodness this is what we drove through it's shocking because you know in florida 
living here my entire life, you know, you think, okay, well, we only get a, a tornado when a hurricane hits, you know, that's what we think. But after joining the Weather Watchers and, you know, learning everything that we learned at the expo, and then literally driving in the middle of it, not knowing what was going on until after the fact, it's like a wake up call that this can happen at any moment. And you can clearly see we are feeling some of the effects just from today's rain and winds right now. We are feeling those heavy rains that we were seeing that video a little bit now. Also some probably some lightning and thunder. So we're going to take shelter. But one thing that Kelly did say is that she, when she got home, never got an alert from the National Weather Service. And so that is what we are asking. Why? Because she said right now she's actually trusting Wink Weather Watchers and our Wink News weather app more at this time. But now live in DeSoto County, Camila Pereira, Wink News. So still plenty of unanswered questions about this tornado. The National Weather Service was here in DeSoto County earlier surveying the area. Wink Investigates reporter Olivia Jean has been pushing them for answers on the accountability aspect. Why were there no watches and no warnings? We'll have more on that at, on Wink News at 4 o'clock. For now, I'm live in DeSoto County. Emma Heaton, let's toss it back in studio to you guys.